Can I have Victoria's Secret there? <laughs> Alright, so a lot of you guys have probably been seeing stuff lately about me not liking my uh, Sonic X remix that I did like two years ago. You know, you're saying, you know, but it's so amazing. It's, it's the greatest, it's the most amazing classic remix I've ever heard. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it surpasses the original by so much. Mm. That's not the case, though. It's not good. At all. So what you see here... This is it. I mean, yeah, the, uh... I don't know where the original songs went. But these two are the original songs that I included in the remix. This, I don't know what that is. I think it's some Capcom thing. This is the Spin Dash. This, I don't know. But basically, most of the work has already been done. Most of what you hear is the original in that remix. And this was what was layered on top of it. Simple drums. Genesis 2 Genesis guitars. Synth brass, sawed wave bass with a phaser effect, trumpet, Hear how simple this is. It's simple as frick. It's not. It's not good. It's just literally a couple of drums, Genesis guitars. Synth brass, trumpet, and saw wave bass with a phaser effect. Layered on top of the original. That's barely anything. I didn't do that much to this. But then you can continue saying, Well, it still sounds good. It still sounds amazing. It's still the best streamer ever. How about this? How about, how about, my Chemical Plant remix? Look at the structure. Listen to all the instruments. This had actual time and effort put into it. Because as you may know, I'm better than Tomoya Otani instrument-wise. But this, this is what a good structured remix with time and effort sounds like. This is a good remix. Still not enough though, how about Splash Hill Zone for Turret the Hedgehog? Again, 
Another great remix with time and effort put into it. Still not enough, you say? Then how about the act results theme for Turret the Hedgehog? The Chai Noon Village Hub World theme for Turret the Hedgehog, which is basically a remix of the Aquarium Park world map. Asian drums! Asian plugins. Now here's another here's another great example. This is this is how you do stuff correctly when using original audio. So this, this is what I was able to sample out from the Sonic Runner's Theory of Attack theme. Got as much of the guitar out as I could. Simple, right? But what was layered on top of that? Plenty. Plenty. Quality. Quality. Okay, uh, let's move away a bit from the Sonic stuff. How about one that barely anyone wants to see? Ape Escape 2, Breezy Village, fully remastered. Look at all this! Voice files, well not files, but samples from the original song, soloed out as much as I can make them. Also Brass of Power is in this, Quentin, my son, you'll be proud that I included Brass of Power. Another pretty good one, simple but also good, Ape Escape 3 Credits theme, 
Neo Genesis Remix. That's not even scratching the surface of what there is. You've got a whole channel full of quality videos. Full. And yet for some reason, this is what you want to listen to. Simple, boring, effortless, lazy, not good, barely anything changed. Most of the work in this was already done because of the original song that was included in it. Barely anything was added. On top of that, I use the original audio. That's... No. No, please. But basically... Just... Watch my old... Watch my newer stuff, please. My newer, better, higher quality stuff that has actual time and effort put into it. Not something like the Sonic X remix that sounds terrible and lazy. Please listen to the improvement. <laughs> <laughs> 